Are you a middle school math teacher wondering what is the best way to differentiate for your middle school math students? I have the answer for you. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. Let's talk differentiation. What is the best way? Hmm, have you thought about it? And wanna know what it is? The answer simply is task cards. If you don't know what a task card is, you're missing out. And today's video, I'm gonna share with you why you should be using task cards, especially for differentiation. Task cards are little mini task cards that you can use for every single math concept that you teach. The best, my personal, most favorite way to use task cards is stations. I use stations in my classroom two days a week where we rotate. Students will use task cards, not at every station, but at least one station where we are working on prior concepts usually. I have a station where I am helping students in small groups, and then usually I have a digital station. If you wanna learn more how to set up stations in your classroom effectively and in a way where it's easy, realistic, and you get it right off the, you get it correct right off the bat because it took me a long time to really make my stations work in my class. Click the link in the description box below where you can sign up for free training. I show you everything, how to set it up. I use a ton of images, visuals, so you can see exactly what it looks like. You can see exactly what resources I use. It's totally free. It's amazing. And it's, something I worked really hard to put together because stations was so difficult for me. So anyway, task cards, using them in stations is my most number one effective way to differentiate, okay? Number two, you can take your set of task cards and color code them so that you can kind of create like a, like um, an easy, medium, difficult level without your, without making it super obvious. Or if I want the, you know, easy level to have a circle on the corner. Maybe my medium is a triangle and then my most difficult level is a square. Students don't know. I like the color coding because then it's like, okay, you guys are team red today. Okay, you guys are team green and you guys are team orange. And it just it looks like you have kind of randomly picked people, right? And the third way is actually using that color coding system. I'm just gonna use the color code um, example for right now, but you could have different colors, task cards posted all around your room. And if you have students who are team red, they have to go find different red task cards. Let's just say, let's just say red is the, is the easy level. It actually doesn't even matter what level your students are, are coloring, but you can, you can tell them what color they are. They have to go find those colors around the classroom, work on the first, I usually pick five. So I tell them if you've gotten the first five of your color correct, then you can go and pick whatever color you want um, for your next five. So they can either choose up or down depending on where they're at. And if you, you know, have your students who are already at the highest level, maybe you just tell them pick any five of your same color because you don't want them to like spend time doing some of the easier things. So that's like color coding, but an extra step with the color coding for differentiation. So there you have it. Those are my favorite ways to differentiate using task cards. Truly game changer. If you want to access more task cards, if you want to access task cards for every single math concept in your middle school math class, whether you teach sixth, seventh, eighth grade or algebra one, come join me inside the pre-algebra teachers math membership where we have task cards for every single concept math concept that you need to teach so i hope you found this video helpful and i'll see you next time